while looking at the difference between 2008 version and 2015 version, let's start with some basic changes. And these basic changes are related to terms. Some terms in 2008 version have been given a new name in 2015. So let's try to understand those. In 2008 version, we had a term product. Now that term in 2015 is products and services. So products in 2008 and products and services in 2015. And why this is done is to make it clear that 9001 standard is not limited to production. It is equally applicable to production and services. So even though, even in 2008 version also, when it was said product, there was a clear note which was stating that product means product or service. But in 2015, that has been very clearly established in all through the standard. So wherever the term product was appearing earlier, now the term is products and services. Another change of terminology is documentation and records. So earlier we had two things, documents and records. Documents was something which you are looking at, which were giving you the rules, the things to be done. And records were something which were evidence of that particular activity getting done. So you do an activity based on document and then you record the result of that activity as a record. In 2015, these two terms, documents and records have been combined together and now these are called as documented information. Third change is work environment in 2008 is now called as environment for the operation of processes. Small change, but just a change of term. Purchased product, which was in 2008, is now called as externally provided products and services. Again, this is going back to the same thing. The reason this was changed from product to products and services. So here the term purchased product has also been changed as externally provided products and services. Supplier in 2008 is now called as external provider. So these are few changes which has happened in 2015. There were few changes which were proposed earlier in the earlier stages of this revision, but were dropped somewhere in the middle. For example, continual improvement. That term was proposed to be changed to improvement only from continual improvement to improvement. But since this standard has to go through voting, this standard has to go through consensus building. So somewhere some people felt that this is not an appropriate thing. So the continual improvement still remains continual improvement in 2015. So that term has not changed, even though that was attempted to be changed somewhere in this process of standard development. Mm -hmm.